It is second map, Dust 2, Na'Vi's pick, and they're zero, one down. Preparing to unleash their brilliance is Na'Vi. Ents, however, have looked fantastic. GG.bet seem to agree. And a fast B on the cards. Boomage with the Xbox smoke to deny info. They'll hit their war keys simultaneously. Oh, and they're actually probing for info here. Interesting. Sergei's going to get way more than he bargained for. Electronic caught slipping. Not going to go down. Ariel, however, will get one on the exit, and that's going to really squander the plans. The CTs know what's coming. They're going to start pincering in two from tunnels. They charge in. The flashes are good, but the nades are better. Boomich so low. Frags happening left, right, and center. Flaney in jeopardy. Simple's gone. Sergey double, and it's all over. So Ents will collect. My goodness, a brawl on B to start us off. And, and just context for me, I was trying to look at see how, how are Ents looking on Dust 2? We know the Na'Vi, it's oh, yeah. very well. It's a sitch. For them, it's it's not a bad. It's two for two right now, losing to FaZe and G2 during, I think it was Blast, and then, you know, beating FaZe and Summit, and I think beating Mouse Sports previously to that at another Blast event. So, it, but again, this it's it's not terrible, but it's definitely not one of the ones we've seen a great deal of them from, but they weren't in Cologne, so it's hard to get uh, more visibility. But back in we go. Very quick reaction from the CTs as well. It wasn't like they were perfectly prepared. It wasn't stack nades into tunnels. It was the aggression that slowed that down, believe it or not. It does sound weird to say. Aggression decelerated things, but in this case, it certainly did. Up short, bomb plant would be the game plan. However, I mean, you can look at the minimap yourself. I don't really need to tell you much more. That bomb plant will not be easy either site they go to. A heroic deagle shot. No longer possible, thanks to the smoke deployed by the Finns. I do like Ents' new logo. I think it, it's been uh, refined. I like the golden... What is it? I think it's an old god, like kind of a mythological, um, like, kraken-type creature. If we're talking WoW, well, yeah. what do you think it would be? Uh, that looks like a kind of... Ooh. He's certainly got some tentacles. He could be Nazoth. Mm -hmm. But I really don't know Maybe my lore that well. Gods, yeah. Oh, he's one of them. Huh? There's Yesharj or whatever. I can't say it. There's lots of weird letters and num <laughs> numbers. Doesn't like someone just kind of like hit their keyboard. It does, like, yeah. Mm, I'll do. Here we are. Boomage run boosting. Honey boys. Let's see if they get anything out of this. As you said, oh, that's not bad. This is a step, I guess. Alu's on uh, babysitting duty, keeping good charge of the uh, kids thus far. Simple, though. All right, 2-0. Nice and easy stuff for Ents. No harm, no foul. That first round probably a little bit frustrating more than the second, of course, for Na'Vi. And going into the third, let's see how this uh, shakes up. I'm back in the room. All right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. It's all right. Good to have you back. Were you looking up the knife? Oh, let me do that. I was, I was not looking at the knife at all. Right? I was smashing my nice. face into the screen, wondering why I'm such an idiot. But I know where I went wrong, so Holy in the future man. it won't happen again. And the gun rounds are out for Na'Vi now, so... Here we go, Jeff. This is where it gets interesting. Simple with an Xbox smoke over towards Long. It's the bread and butter. Perfecto actually doing the entry duties right now, and nobody will be there to greet him. It's actually a cat stack coming in from Ents as they've done a four-man alien in the early stages, leaving Yampi solo over towards the B site to deal with any impending attack. And there might actually be one as... Oh, my God. Flamey completely flash takes down Ariel, but Sergo yeah. with the trade. Yeah, that's lovely. A nade towards Xbox not quite going to hit its mark, and so Boomich unscathed advances Sergey. MP9. It's a strong weapon for the job. It's a perfect fight, perfect trade. So, bombs going B, trying to sell it. Perfecto on long. This is a good sell. I'd be buying this. Jampy's leaving B. This is really nice. If Na'Vi don't lose players in the process of this, Perfecto full committing, we're onto something here. That's a wide open B site. And I'm surprised. Simple's actually gone for the frag on Jampy, so that's quite the announcement. Oh, Perfecto, hello. Okay, he does go down, okay. My goodness, now Electronic should be able to. He's uh, only got a USP. Flubbed his lines, now a recovered rifle. And simple opting for a very powerful position. There is almost no way they'll be able to force him out of this corner. Oh, he peeks him! Sonny with the reactions, they know where Electronic is. Why is Sonny not making the run? They wait for the frag, that's why. And now a free and comfortable b site retake. My god, I thought they did enough there, Lauren. I thought it was it with Simple posted up where he was. You're right. It's like he doesn't lose that fight, but him swinging into it. Sonny, well and truly up to time. Great reactions, right? How was Sonny still alive after leaving the bomb site? I thought Electronic was going to have him all day of the week, leaving that smoke, the gray screen, that weirdness in the smoke with, was it Perfecto? 
Like, what is this? It's like, where did he go? There's only one explanation. And that's the reaction shot. Gosh, that is just instinct. Oh, Pectronic, this was where they die straight to the death of Simple, really just put him into a disarray. He had no options. And okay, no one's saying anything, just a Some slight eyebrows. raise of the eyebrow. And Alu wants to try and twist this knife and add some salt to the wound. It's electronic, a magnificent open up. Straight out to Long, this could be the default Na'Vi spread. Early control towards Long, I'm sure Ents will have had some protocols in place to deal with this, should it be set up. Simple doesn't have the chance to throw, oh, okay, he did. I just watched it leave his hand, so he's throwing the Xbox smoke. They've completely given up B again, and I think the fact that doors are turned around the other way these days is an opportunity for the CTs to limp away from that side of the map. And knowing the way that Na'Vi like to approach this Dust 2 in the early stages will always be conditioning over towards Long. Standard operating procedure at this oh, point, but taking huge. back mid control. That's two rounds in a row that Ents have made that a priority. Flamey has, from that corner, a CT smoke. You can't smoke CT anymore, it's gone. And so their cross is for the... Smokes, they do have electronic and simple, but the frags from Alu could really destabilize, and he's already spotted multiples. That's electronic. No chances anymore. Fantastic from Alu. Sunny as well, swinging in to finish off. What little remains. You can oh. boost over that smoke if they need to. Perfecto to be hunted by Serga. There's a world in which he... Excuse me? Would have. The drive-by on long. God damn. Got yeah. Alu though, just, cool pulled under pressure. His, just pulled out his weapon, but Alu, he didn't have anything other than himself there. Just peeks into the line, repositions for two. And that was very nice shot from Sergei. So you see, once they deal with the with Flamey top mid, it means that they can focus more individuals over towards long. And the way that we've seen teams doing it and being successful in the last couple of days is when they do posture forward in the same way that Alu does, be disruptive as they're about to cross or just before and make it a more difficult task. They're not just getting that respect that they're normally given on that side of the map. Sure, you can take long, that's cool. But once we clear out tunnels, once we clear out top mid, we know exactly where you are and we can fight you. Now it's, what? Uh, hold your breath. Sonny could ruin this round. Look at Boomich's position, though. Is that real? This is real. This is reality. Rush, give me the... Yeah. Yeah, this will do. What? Are we playing like a public server right now? Oh, Lord. Hope he's he's defending taxi. I've never, I haven't seen anyone here. Oh, he's Flashes. He's going to get caught out. Oh. Jumping over the bullets temporarily. Does put an MP9 into Boomich's hands. He is somewhat of a hot rod. Back towards B. Alu will be able to hold both of these positions with the swap to the doors, as you discussed, Chad. That should be his responsibility, but they, they, are they hedging their bets? Looks like Ali will be responsible for middle, but nobody glancing at B. If they were to just walk in here, a gap in the end's defense. Oh, nice. They're going to have a smoke from Electronic for the door cross as well, so Ali really will be completely nullified. There is no way he can contribute for this cross. They only have to be concerned about that. Oh, he's he actually fighting? flashing for the fight, yeah. And God, that's he's the bomb. dirty, isn't he, the way he plays this game? So bold, so brazen. Goes back in. This is against Deagles, and he's peeking into it like that. It's a dangerous game. The other two are going to come through the tunnels, and they're not really slowing down either. This is just brute force. They want to run through them. Electronic could do some work, but you feel like it's going to be managed by the Finns. Isolates one. That's pretty good. And now the 1v1. One oh. Electronic. Don't show these boys any disrespect. No, V, claw it back. Mauled them with the MP9 right there. And what that's actually done to the bank bounces of Ents is uh, not fantastic scenes. A lot of individuals hovering around that 2.5K mark, 3K-ish. I think they might go for maybe a hero weaponry as, if I remember rightly, Alu had something like 8K, but that's a huge clutch to be winning right there. And... Big round for Na'Vi to get their confidence going after map number one. So Alu will actually invest into the AWP. Simple will take down Sunny over towards those mid doors, but traded upon. Potentially not expecting the AWP because he would have seen what Sunny was rocking with. And that's a great trade within the early stages here. The star man, the star factor of Na'Vi taken down early. They have long again. So <laughs> like we like we'll say every every round almost that Na'Vi <laughs> Really prioritize that part of the map. Oh, smoke from okay, long. quite nice. Uh, it's good to see they're able to cover off and allow Flamey to lurk through these lower tunnels. Now, if these three pistols push up a dark, they will see that it's clear for now. 
Oh, Alu's in such a spoiler position here. He is, isn't he? His comms is coming to him, and you can see the reaction might be to, to have a little glance at the cross. Oh, Flamey found out. Rifle found. They will start to spread out now. Charging incited their push straight towards the A-cross. So when Alu can really dig his heels in. Feels good almost, knowing that, okay, they're nowhere else. They're only, only on long. Oh my gosh, he misses the shot. Very uncharacteristic to what we've seen so far. Tease now towards the site. Alu denied a peek back in. Yeah, this is going to get awkward now. He knew that was his chance to uh, tip the scales in his favor. Now two of them playing after plan long. Boosting him over is promising, but Electronic, if he just shows it little tip of his head, he will be eliminated. That's the bait, that's the frag, and that should be the round. Electronic just confirming things as he continues to hunt. Jampi will be saving that AWP though, and a bit of a quiet start from him. It's only the first six rounds of play, but very, very much a large contributing factor to the end success on train. Fortunately, he's had Sunny, Alu, and Sergey all popping off to get this one started, hence their score. May I ask a stupid question? Yeah. Is it Yampi or Jampi? So they did an actual video on the pronunciation. Um, did it help? It, it confused me a little bit more. Oh. Uh, did I find it? Is it on, on Ensis Social? Yeah, but it was a while ago, so you might have to scroll a little memeing. bit. No, they weren't memeing. They, yeah. they were, I think they were being quite serious. The, the thing is, um, I'm sure that there's certain vowels in the, in the way that it's meant to be pronounced that would be strugglesome for the English tongue. Yampi. Um, but yeah, so, so I, I go with the Y because it seems like all the Feels nods. Right. But it could just be Jampy. Jampy. Um, doesn't, doesn't sound as good, though. Old Jampy here. No, it doesn't. He sounds like oh, a... Oh, God. But either way, yep. hopefully we'll be yelling his name. No problem. He's certainly good on train. Let's see if Ariel can look good now. Just about stays live over by Long. We know that Na'Vi will be testing this, and he's, so far, passing with flying colours. Molly coming in under pressure, but he holds. It's a good opening. It's only the MAC-10 that was taken out of the equation here. Electronic has taken a lot of space. And if Alu's not careful, if he doesn't check his corners and the timing is against him... Oh, that's a big scalp again. The oh. trade can't even come in. Alu too strong. Eventually falls to Boomich here, but now that's just a two-on-four situation. No map control. He's taken down Simple and Electronic on their mid-aggression. Just standing in the open with his signature weapon. Now Jampy. Jampy. Fudge. Sorry. Gonna get one. Thanks, Lauren. I just Sorry. I didn't even think about it. I was just saying his name now. I've got a I'm gonna have angry fins at me after well, I don't think that's a bit of an oxymoron. Fins are nice. Yeah, they can't really be angry, can they? Well they don't they're not good at expressing Very it. Very stoic. Yes. Stoicism just don't show your emotions. No feelies. Feelies bad. Uh oh. Boomich feeling good though. Really? Maybe. Oh my goodness, yes, oh. maybe, he's gotten away. This is be an ace, Alex. An this ace is... clutch, no less. He fakes out Ariel, I don't know if he's going to be given it. He wants to hunt. Oh, so spots the, the leg, and Ariel is oh. going to shatter his dreams. Boomich thought he had the element of surprise in a valiant attempt. That puts Ents on five and four kills in that round. It was Alu's double, though, that does eventually translate. Good stuff here. The second shot is the, the real MVP, right? The fact that he multi-killed, even though Electronic had that much space, his reaction speed, ready to take down that type of a push, was huge. And Boomich could have done one better. We did uh, see some amazing things out of him last season on Dust2, within the early stages from Na'Vi. He was, I think, of an entry beast. Loves that CT spawn drop down when they do go for their cat plays. This is a very ambitious angle. You rarely see Orpus go for in the modern day, but... Alu has, and with that smoke deployed, he was so safe from the T gaze. I like watching Alu. It, it feels like I'm watching Orpers of yesteryear, getting away with so much. Well, he's not super flashy, but he's just so rock solid in the way he plays it. He's been a bit I, of a nuisance too, isn't he? Yeah. God, look at the readjustment now. He's been peeking into lower dark. He's been over towards that B ramp. He's been now over on short. He was sort of towards this way when they were on that stack towards B. It was just him holding this side. So no stranger to it. He has been just about everywhere with multi-frags just about everywhere. That's the last smoke of this B defense. So as it fades, Simple can throw out his smoke for the door. And a mid to be pincer. Sergey and Yampi, this is going to get very hot and very bothersome. But this is the cue. Sergey's responsible for two different angles of assault. They're just distracted. 
couldn't address both at the same time. Perfecto opens up the site. This will be the save call for the Finns. So they cower back into the long. Na'Vi happy to be boasting a third round. It's just off the back of a well-coordinated mid-B pincer. Just for people who, who may be a little bit curious, why they look away from tunnels? Well, mid to B is actually very difficult to defend. And, and normally on the CT side, you will pick, okay, well, it's a B split coming in. Do we defend tunnels or do we defend the mid to B? And you'll play together. You both want to focus on that same area. And that's why Perfecto coming on through, it's two clean kills entering on towards that side because the priority became mid to B. There was two smokes. You saw them out on the radar, one in CT spawn on the ground, one in the box to obscure vision for the rotators. And they were making enough of a nuisance of themselves that that opened the door for Na'Vi to come in through the tunnel. The uh, second layer of the attack was the fact that Simple did throw that door's smoke. Speaking of doors, gets a little bit of damage through it. And that meant that once they were trapped outside of the site, if they were to try and go fight middle and get those kills, they would have had the bomb site and been able to play what may have been a two on five scenario, two on four, depending on how the trades would have unfolded, and still a better situation to find themselves in. So you can see that one was looking towards windows. Sergey was trying to babysit towards the doors. That smoke has just come on through. And it was perfect for Perfecto, as Ents now with the saved guns. They'll battle back in. Yampi has a scout and a tag. What? How are two of them tagged up already on the T side? Another Three one. now. Yampi, secondary on train with the AWP, maybe first in line with the scout. This guy's doing some damage. Yeah, I mean, now suddenly all of those M4s, I say all of those, two of those, will have a much easier job besting three members of Na'Vi, so early damage really does favor. Ents. And now he brings the, uh, the big scout, sweeping to clear out middle. It will bear no fruit. Oh, just as I say that, Boomich is plucked from the tree. Investigating on catwalk, and they will be filling that gap now. Perfecto and simple. Walking up the catwalk, flamey boosted to contain long. Corner smoke. Pulls out one of the fins. This is actually working out wonderfully. Flamey still has his as well. It's only the Molotov on Alu to disrupt this A attack here. 40 seconds left. We do have cat control. Alu is in rotation, so he could drop it. If it was on Flamey Electronic, it would be a chunk of damage, but Aerial could be huge. He's hiding an anti-flash and does have his vision now. Molotov to force the fight, he will start to... Oh, oh, has he found a safe haven? He's done so well to find safe haven because the rotates come in. Alu sees tips of heads. Alu just hunting him down electronic. Now the last one alive. He's got so much work on his play and Yampi with the assistance from Alu. <laughs> I wonder how many AWP frags electronic's got in his career. He's probably another one of those, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, another one of them we put in the rain category. Yeah. I'll take a look. It's, it's quite <gasps> curious to see just... When you have somebody who's a star rifle at Electronic, they, they rarely have the AWP, and that was Bogdan's law coming into play right there for him to be uh, able to garner that one on the low HP. Want to make sure uh, you're shuffling those weapons around there. And it will be a timeout from Na'Vi, potentially a necessary one, as the score is currently 6-3 to three in the favor of Ents on Na'Vi's map choice. This is the same two maps that we saw these teams go down on last time round back in DreamHack, and it was a 2-0 in favor of the Finnish boys. Well, if they are on track to do it yet again... That would be very interesting. Yeah, having a look, his entire career, 157, right? Out of, when you look at his AKs in his entire career, it's over 7K. So let me bring it to 2020, just so everyone can look at the context for this year alone. Orb kills from Electronic in 2020, seven. So now it would be eight. So keeping a, a very humble amount of Orb frags there. We're getting back underway with a janky bite from Na'Vi once more. Galil, Tech 9. We do have the AKs and the AWP out, so... Enough to make this one work. Utility are plenty. And the default spread. Ends are doing a great job at containing the early stages and denying those long plays. And that's forced Na'Vi to now show a bunch of different faces. A B fake. Well, I mean to B fake with a B hit. One of the rounds where they have found success. And you can see at the moment they're having to go back to more of a default spread. So the attack might be coming through catwalk right now. And that A execute with boomage entry fragging that I was prefacing before could be on the cards or in the cards as Electronic takes control of Cat behind the guise of the CT smoke. It's got about another 10 seconds before it will be cleared. It does look like they want to push these players back.
This is that CT smoke. Tor Magic's throwing it. Now I see Flamey, so it seems like they, uh, teams from the same region, same ideas. Descending down, Jampy does take one of the many prongs down. He might even find a third. Electronic says no. A late B hit, but the bomb now loose. This is over. Flamey's on long, but Flecto unawares. No time for him to really make an impact in this one, and he's realized that he'll just have to accept his fate, inspect his skin, and check the scoreboard. Can we uh, take stock a little? I, my mind, when I you know thought about Navi Dust 2, I thought about that previous game, right? The one the way we got our hopes up, this, this isn't the same Navi, right? We're not seeing the same sort of success here? No, and I think that they were hitting all their shots on that Dust 2 game. Remember, like, Flamey was having entry, oh, every was entry nasty, kill. Yeah. They were looking really, really good, individually on form. Here, they're not even getting greeted with the opportunity to have those jewels. Like, Boomage coming out of a grey screen there. His job is to contain rotations. Yampi well and truly knows what's going on on that side of the map. So once the CTs have that covered off and they know there's a player there, that smoke that Flamey threw is completely out the window because their plan was to go mid to B, but now you need to look towards CT yeah. and towards the B hill. So they're not getting put in positions where they can just focus on their crosshair on the head and getting those frags. Flamey's actually purchased on in here and Yampy with the mid aggression, really unraveling things, seven to three. This was the save, no? And he's just about to lose it all in the same place where he saved it. Now lies idle. That was their little shining beacon, little bit of hope. Now squandered, and I'm afraid this Na'Vi squad with two Desert Eagles and Armoured Simple. <sighs> it's, a, it's a very tall order here. It's honestly sometimes a day and night with Na'Vi. Isn't it? I don't know if it's them or if it's the opponent, but it has to be a little of it attested to them. I mean, they talk about it themselves. You know, it's it's obviously not it's incredibly well articulated given the, the language barrier and the fact you don't want to be explaining your biggest and most nuanced flaws to the entire world. competitive uh, world. Okay, there he is, Boomich. Fills the feed enough for us to perhaps get excited about round 11. Simple with an AWP could easily knock Sunny off his perch. It is wall bangable with that AWP, but of course, he's got to do more than just find the first, there's two more to process. And Sergey on CT, how do they find that fight? With, oh, a run boost? That's one way to get across. Ah, not ideal, simple. Doesn't quite have a chance in Sunny and Sergey. Can't believe their luck. Eight on the defense of Na'Vi's map pick. And the double ops are saved across again. So Yampi and Alu, if they want, if they have a good mid spawn, can continue to be disruptive on that side of the map. This is Flamey with that saved AK getting melted on down, having to go into the flames. Boomage did make it interesting, but that was the extent of the interesting side of the things. The fast incendiary just to that blue bin. I mean, you compare that with a flashbang, it's such a death sentence. It's such a death sentence. It really is a great way to nullify the, the Na'Vi long play, if you will, which is throwing a flash off the Go doors. And, yeah, here he goes, straight out. No incendiary this time. Simple's taking a lot more space here. Arrow needs to be careful. Yeah, true. Real careful. Still just hanging in limbo. Oh, that Molly's really helped him out here. If he had hung around and swung around that corner, Simple would have had him for sure. Action short. To this. They're going to go on this, it looks like. Electronic, a little unawares. Aerial still doing some great work, but there's finally the hit from Long we were waiting for. Yeah, Simple did knock the Aerial off his perch. Bombs coming up Long now. Rotate as well from the CTs. They don't have a single smoke. That one... Not really going to do much. In fact, that's perfect for Sunny. He's got like a little temporary wall now. He can chill out. Now smoked from short. Certainly not ideal. Indicative of where they're going. Sunny does go down, actually. So now some space. A real chance for Na'Vi. Bomb planted. Yampi on the retake from short. Didn't quite nail the moves, but he'll be there shortly. Clean from simple. Requires a triple kill to get them out of dodge, but that's a fourth for Na'Vi, a necessity. Grabbing themselves an AWP for the next, and they will be able to go up against the slightly more shaken ends. They won't have all the bells and whistles this next time. It was good stuff. They almost defended against it. You could just see how strung out towards the side area was after that pressure. So it was a, a gamble call from Ents not to have a regular right. setup on that side, and occasionally that's going to happen. Occasionally that's uh, how the cookie will crumble. I haven't had a cookie in a while, actually. Mm. Do you know what uh, I was just, you know how you've got an internal monologue. I was really thinking how much fun it would have been if uh, Boomer's name was Boombler. 
a really... What could you do with really Boombler? I don't know, but it just sounds fun to say, doesn't it? That was really wild back in the day with those E-League majors that were happening, and there was all those CIS names that had to be translated, but... Aggressive mid-push here, and Electronic yeah. translates that one into a kill. Perfecto mopping things up. You have to be making this interesting still. Yeah, I mean, that's bomb and a rifle. There shouldn't be anything you can do with this, especially with 34 HP. <laughs> you heard it wrong. Fortunately, nice. enough bait for Perfecto to have a little look. Problem solved. Round over. So again, just the P2K. So five. And Sarah on the side of caution, though, they obviously prioritize those AWPs. And so throwing their eco in does enable them to have what I previously have referred to as bells and whistles. They've got them all now. Dorps. Dorps. Dorp. We did see a lot of 8.7s yesterday. We certainly did. A special no. amount of 8.7s yesterday. It's insane. Uh, it could be on for it today if Na'Vi can keep this up. Yes, it did require a little bit of uh, individual brilliance to come out for them. Simple with the three, of course, breaking the economy. Now, simple again, opening up the account. Yeah, knew that trick was coming on through, and that's the second orb taken out of the equation, but here's the first one, and that one doesn't miss. Very, very rarely. Alu just aggressive long doors, denies a lot of space, denies one of the prongs of the Na'Vi split. And he's already filling the gaps over towards the uh, short side of things. Jampy shut down. They know that there's a potential gap in mid. Sunny forced into the B site and they will just hunker down. So the risk of this kind of gameplay is that if they don't push for oh, they are. I love this. So B tons is about to get interesting. Smokes out towards A. Is that going to be enough to get Sunny and Sergey moving? Oh no, the timing could really be unfavorable. Oh, jiggle. Info. They're coming to B. Sergey and Sunny need to be careful here. No, just around the corner in time for a repeat. And they're doing the flash. I think they flashed themselves there, jumping for the peak. Sergey trying to hold them back, but it's not going to work out well. Sunny one for one. Boomich has made space. Into a two on two. Ali's got the hardest shot to hit. You said he doesn't miss Lauren. And he hasn't missed that either. Tags up Boomich on the doors. That's a hard flick to hit. All right, Electronic, pivot point. A huge kill. Wow. What? That was supposed to be the Pride game winner. Open. That was the round winner. That was, that was got it. no HP. He's already tagged up by Alu. Great game in here, though. Finds the head of Alu. Can he really make it count? Ariel just needs one bullet. And Boomich doesn't care. Another quad kill from Boomich in the map. Closing the gap. Na'Vi in pursuit of an 8-7 half. It's the in-game leader to pull them across the line. Oh. See that one again. Started strong, certainly, but this is how he gets into the site. Baits the orc shot, takes down Sunny. That's just the start. This peek into Alu, catching him unawares, and then just in the off angle, enough time to react. Great shots, great game, and Simple just lost his head. Jampy drive by. Scout main. Sunny on the run as well. We've got pushes up middle. This is a wild round, Alex. They're all over the shop. <laughs> Like bulls in a china shop. Sunny pushed up already. Smashing anything in his path. And it is going to channel them all in towards long. I don't know how the CTs plan to deal with this, though. I mean, Jampy. Oh, that's a gap. It is. They jump over it. Boomich has made a lot of space for his squad here. Still a gap for Jampy to hope and try and exploit a second across. Communicated. needed. Yampi worth his weight in gold this round already. Two kills, but the rest obviously lesser equipped, but Alu and Sergei still stand, but this ain't the range for you. And it leaves it all down to Alu in the 1v3. There's still no plan. I mean, he can play a slow game here. His presence on short's probably going to keep him paranoid for a while. I like the decision he's made here. I wonder if he catches Flamey off guard. Well, this is the timing. Go on. Alu does. One warning shot, one low. He can actually hit them both with Bond Bullet, and he has taken up the AK. There's a world in which he wins this, Lauren. Boomich is, is trying to cover off Perfecto's cross. It's going to be a straight up fight, but who gets the shot? It's oh. Alu, and now the 1v1. It's suddenly a little scary for Perfecto. He had buddies, he had friends, and now he oh. oh, the head was there. The chance, a clutch of a bloody season. Yeah.
That's going to be one, an inner emotion on Ali's face for the first time in this series. An 8 7 half, Navi's keeping it competitive. And Clutch is all over the shop. He did manage to close that gap and seal the deal with four final rounds in consecutive order. Does manage to completely and totally not nullify, but certainly keep it competitive. We do have Pansy and Sponge hanging out in the studio with myself. And we're nearly ready for the second half of our first series. Seconds map. What's the third if we need it? Nuke? Nuke, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. An interesting one if we do go the distance right there. Need the team. Necessarily a massive slouch on it, but kicking things off on the CT side in the second half. Electronic wants to take some jewels up middle. Yeah, why not? Guess he's keeping him busy, if nothing else. It's a fight, he certainly favors him. Does pull some utility out, and oh, he's actually going for the very <gasps> same angle. Shot in the hand to deter. Good work from Sunny, keeping Alu safe and sound, and they walk out contact long. Nobody making a peep just yet. Boomch is even rotating off the long line. That's a little scary. Alu, I know he's... You know, They're not going to have danger, any clue here, Lauren. No one's in the right place for this. When do they start running? Off the flash, I guess. Now. They probably can't believe their luck. Alu has been the Pied Piper, leading the children away with his magical tunes in towards those lower B tunnels, as the Finns just take the site for free. Yeah, that's really going to work out well. I wonder if they can convert, though. Jumpy, I love the jump down. That was aggressive. Doesn't need to see his team follow the similar suit, though. Time's on their side. A goosh already delivered, and two members 
of this side are now on the flank. Sunny can't believe his luck, distracting Boomit, Brad rotting the clock. Flamey needs a fresh clip. And Ariel does take a fresh hit into the head of Electronic. Frags are going their way, though. No time for Flamey now. He's recovered the kit. He'd have to be defusing about now. And unfortunately for him, it will just be one helpless duel against Alu. Great work. Great round from Ensign. Yeah, the Pied Piper analogy couldn't really be better for what we saw there. Two Ts spotted and aggressive. Sunny at the T ramp. Alu in lower tunnels. That's about. That's enough information for the CTs to fill in the blanks poorly. Now this here is where we get an opportunity to look at Oh, Navi's fate might be. The four spy is what we're seeing come through. Simple has a scout, head armor behind it. They're able to convert this one and we can have a back and forth, then we could be on. But if Navi lose this, it might be similar scenes to what we were seeing over on train as map number one. So the AKs are out. Scout for Yampi doing some amazing things in the first half with it. See how Ents want to approach this. It seems more of the same, just the default spread. They liked it on train, they're liking it on dust too. Nothing too tricky. Nice and steady does it for the Finns. Plenty of utils still to work with. That's a spam and a half, gets it right back though. Nothing without a response, it seems as simple. These three T's about to get met by some force here. Look at the double stack on short. There's the high flash to set it into play. Flamey finds Alu, but there we go. A Ariel's well and truly up to the challenge. Simple, the only one really still controlling what he can, but the push through. <laughs> CT side aggression, late round is brave. Simple, you don't dare. He does, he goes back chance. in. Yeah, I mean, trying to control that rotate was a, one of the best chances they had at converting this round. I understand why he's re-peaking, just not hitting his shots. Poor old Perfecto now is in dire straits. I mean, a CZ frag, unlikely. With 27 HP, near impossible, and Sunny seems to agree. 10 for Ents. So out of the gate, it was an 8-7 half. Of course, first two go in their way. They pick the pistol and farm up a couple of frags with those SMGs as well. So it is another day in the office for them. Boosting on his teammate's head was his demise. And this is Ariel controlling things. Never letting go of his movement keys with that Mac 10. Right, pistol upgrade from Navi here. This should be another Ents round unless something catastrophic goes down. Yampi yeah, this time round is just holding onto a Glock in very Flusher-esque fashion. Nades towards Long. They're finding out what's home and that was two HEs. So that information right there to the Ents side of things is there's at least a few over towards this side of the map. And well, Alu, he's taken liberties elsewhere. Get himself out the mid doors already. As Ents have grabbed a lot of control. Certainly have. Seeming quite calm. The nade stack that was coming out from Na'Vi really didn't find anyone. I think Yampi was pretty far back, never really was in threat. He will be if he goes any further. Flamey tries to throw a quick one, finds nothing again. So, so far, Ents really feeling out the map pretty much perfectly. The stack is towards eight. Yampi does only have a glock in hand, and he goes down. So, probably feeling out the stack, job done, and is going to be holding on towards B. So, bomb on the way. Yeah, that's dreamy. Walking out, not giving them a rifle, confirming a stack. Doesn't really get better than that. Hello might want to try and go for a bit of a hunt with this Mac-10. Get a wriggle on, see if he can get a few more kills and a bit more cash. Make sure he's got plenty of money to be buying into the AWP. Sonny's going to do some work with the AK there, but this round, ladies and gentlemen, should just be simmering on down. We never were going to get to a boiling point with how Ents approach this one here and it will just be perfecto usp in hand i'm gonna be honest i i look on my map on the right side and there's chat over there too i was like oh it's popping off they're really hyped for this round like what's going on uh they've almost unlocked a new emote it is what i found out they're really trying hard that over there is is coming in so, it's 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 a do, big deal for are we, do we unlock it forever I don't is know. A daily thing? I think i think it's the whole thing i think yeah you, once you've got it you've got, got it. it you can use it on the channel um, oh, that's cool. So we just have to find out if the mods scam them or not. Uh, don't do it. Surprised. You never, never I wonder know. if I've still got my mod sword. That used to make me feel very special. It does make you yeah. feel powerful, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, Reminds oh. me of IRC a little bit. You, got you don't get it. You, uh, yeah, well, I guess you don't see it in the same list. IRC, that's really going back. People opt, voiced, yeah. Yeah, made the titles, spend a lot of time on that. Nah, not Waking about it. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alu. Uh, uh, you're out of there. Okay, that was ambitious. 
Yeah, Alu, not, not a stranger to a risk, not afraid of it either. Of course, the reward would have been a CT, expecting nobody to be weathering 80 points of damage and peeking in for the safe angle. Simple aware of the one gap to that angle, which is crouching around the corner. Jumping to confirm and remove that gap. And in fact, a boost. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, well, they've got info, but it's dear. really not manifesting into anything particularly uh, aesthetically pleasing. Electronic has a smoke. This could be key when the attack comes in towards the A site here. Just looks like Ents are setting up for the basic A approach that we've seen time and time again. Smokes go out, flashes to follow. Molotovs will be nice. Where's he going to deploy this? Okay, something to play around. There we go. First contact finally made. Simple still holding by Goose Electronic, unfazed. The hit came through, it cleared the site out, but there was still the CT side holding large. And for now, the bomb yet to be covered, still down, still a problem, unable to plant. 30 seconds, so many CTs now around you. Yeah, there should be no way out for them. Boomage takes the head off Ali. That's a very big scalp to take. Electronic gets his double. Na'Vi tested on A and they pass with flying colors. And they even got simple the AWP there. Boomich can throw that one across and it will be looking like a pretty buy moving into round number 20. I, I guess that electronic smoke was the key because it really splits up the attack, right? When you're having to push through a gray screen to clear out some of the closer angles, the places that you haven't actually molotoved off, life becomes more and more difficult. As we can see the fan cams right there, people at home getting involved, watching the counter every day of the week, the CSGO network. Back on. Is that Molotov over the top of middle? Either can deal with a bit of a biff or can also stop some Xbox smokes coming in that bounce off the ground. Electronic, he sees ahead, he throws a nade. Finds some damage. That's lush, isn't it? Sounded a bit Welsh then. It's lush, isn't it? Don't know what's wrong with me. Flamey though. Gonna be helped out by a bit of the symbol, gonna get a lot of the attention. Teed up. Oh my word. Just what a delivery of frags here. They are doing a bit of damage, but drastically outweighed on the trades. Yeah, that was Flamey's 4K and a very quiet one at that. All backs turned, no resistance, distracted by trying to shut down that CT orb. But look at this, this is a very one-track mine, just like a... Just a one-by-one. One. A Q into the Flamey Massacre machine. Boomich happy with that one. We get the full movement key perspective there. And that does put Ents into dire straits. They'll have to just go for the single flash Gleeco. And here I go, Chad, I'll do it this time. Now, what will we expect to see is a slow approach from Ents. They will be patrolling the map at a slow and methodical pace to draw out all of the CT utility, the smoke in tunnels, the incendiary in long doors. All of this is in pursuit of not only taking a time for themselves to recalibrate, but also to force all of that extra money to be squandered by the CTs. How many times do you have to do that until people understand it? No, well, it's always new viewers. So we always need every to time. do it every, every, every show. Every, every show. There is, a, there is someone that's sitting there going, what, what is this? Why are they talking about Harry Potter? I don't understand. So what oh, we try and do I see. is so we you try... try and get ahead of it early. So what, what, the way I look at it is that we have regular viewers and they like our funny stuff. And we have viewers who come in just to watch their teams and they want a little bit more serious stuff. So the balance is a very, it's a very difficult one. Fine balance. And you do 60 days of counter, actually it's more like 70 days of Counter-Strike, but Jesus. we'll get there. We are gonna get there, the players are gonna get there. And well, Boomage, he might get overrun right here. The flashes are coming on in, he will fall in pit. Those blocks are working. What the hell? Alu did manage to get the double dink on his Glock and take down none other than Simple on that AWP. It's not gonna translate into a round, thankfully. Flamey's here alongside Electronic and they will keep that AWP in play. So between the two of them, they do get the job done. Simple's being kept pretty quiet. Only 10 kills to his name right now. True. And they're still doing okay. Yeah, well, Boomich with 17, Electronic yeah. with 15. You can see the scores on the doors. Flamey with 15 to his name. Perfecto with 13. And the other sort of things, Ariel with 100 points of ADR, 15 frags for him. Halu always finding that impact. Yampi, if he comes alive as well, might have a, a bit of a biff and a battle on our hands here. Here we go. One round. It is a big one. Hopefully all the work they've been doing, building up to this, keeping that economy humble, doing a bit of damage even the you know, previous one, gives Ents the chance to fight back here because Na'Vi have swung the pendulum, but it can always tip either way. Aerial, quick control towards Cat. It looks like, what, we've got Electronic on the other side of that, waited, posted up, and what's Simple up to? Leering around towards middle. 
little chip away in the wall, certainly aiding the cause as you see those little feet. But plenty of pressure towards middle here. Four tees. Util in hand. It looks like it could be a moment for Simple to step up a little bit here. Or at least just step up, but get more kills on the board for himself. Yeah, that's both CT smokes, and he will be tested. Doesn't get a chance to steady his aim for a second, so yeah, kept quiet. Now they want to try and find Electronic or Elise. That's the bomb. Boomich's flank. What initiative taken by the Na'Vi leader just to completely destabilize Entz. They now know there's a long presence. He's going all the way back around. He's actually going to be there in time to support them as they leave Cat. From flanking them at the top of middle, that is a spectacular choice from Boomich. Still definitely a way in here. 38 seconds. But Electronic playing a very passive angle. If Entz take too long, I'll have just enough rope to hang themselves. 27, getting awkward. Great chip damage from Electronic. He can just whittle away at them. Avoids all the flashes, all the problems, and he's going to continue to try and line them up. Jampy's not going to make that easy. Boomich makes it look easy. He needs to get this frag now, and Boomich says no. He's definitely been in the DMs. He's looking sharp. He's looking reminiscent of that Boomich that did lead by example over in Katowice. All right, so she's flank. Just, yes. <laughs> Look, what do you do? These shots here are nice as well. Finishing things off with style there, old Boomich. If he went down there, there was a chance that Sergei gets the plant, gives himself a potentially winnable one-on-two situation. Now oh, it is just pistols in play towards long they go. They need to hope the flashes are good. They are. Ariel's doing the dance too, though. And as they clear, it's electronic that thrives. That's been stifled with the rotation quickly over towards Cat. That is the answer from Entz here as they scuttle on up the bomb on the back. And well, the keeper is now in place. Simple on the site, ready to deal with anybody wanting to push on to A. They've locked things down here for now in round 23 Na'Vi. A little bit of utility damage tickling off Sergei. It's difficult to see how they get back into this one. Just the range of the P250s. It would have to be the Deagles of Yampi and Sergei to open up. So the flush comes over. This is their chance. There's the beheading to start with. Smoke's coming in now. The CT's looking quite unfazed so far. Simple. Light work of Sunny and Yampi. So nothing really coming through for Ents in the last couple. Solid for Na'Vi. Good recovery for them. I'm sure they're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident after that little bit of a, I don't want to say a shaky first half, but it was, you know, back and forth. Had to work hard for their round. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a giggle. That's a smile from Ali. We don't see that every day of the week. And they lose the round. He smiles. Maybe he's... Uh... Masochist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he has the AWP out here, so let's see if he can find any impact as flashes towards long again. Opening dual aerial almost takes down Perfecto. Equal exchange of damage here. Bit of alchemy on long. An equivalent exchange found. Boomage changing it. that, though. That's aerial straight out. He's just got this flair. The right aggression at the right time is so potent on the defense. We all know the cardinal rule there, though, Alex. You know, Ariel now dead. Nothing coming back for it. Can't be messing with Alchemy, can we? Electronic, down he goes. Nice work from Sunny this time. Electronic's been a bit of a rock there. He's been a nuisance. This time, no simple to back him up towards Goose, though. Yampi on protection duty. Bomb now down. Been a while since we've seen a plant. Taz. Godsmoke down as well. Makes Boomich's life much more difficult. They've even got Molly. Molly to stop the crawl from the CTs. Buying more time, shaving it off the clock. Sergei still on short for the last ditch save. And just on the edge of the smoke, Ali's found another. Sunny in prime position, flashed off, doesn't want to give them anything. And I think the CTs have thought better of it. Yeah, it will be the save call. 12 I'm not sure if Sergei wants to go for this, right? Like, this is the first time we've seen some success from Ents. They just rather keep hold of what they can. Simple was hoping to do a little damage towards the end of that one as he closes his gap. He wants to... <gasps> yeah, that was about his best bet. <laughs> oh, and he goes oh, down! No, 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 no. He goes down for it. That is not the end of the world, but an orc lost into the void. And this was Boomich's aggressive push again. Look at that one. You rarely see that wall bang pay off. To that extent, this is the final frag of the round. 
It's always really really difficult if you're in that position of boomages. The rest of your teammates are through CT spawn. Do you want to stay back on the long corner and wait for them to attack first? Do you want to try and draw the fire? But that utility usage from Ents was fantastic. The Molotovs into spawn, buying them what would have been chained together for approximately 10 to 14 seconds, depending on when Yampi released the second one. The smoke and the redeploy from Sunny on top of the A site, making it harder for the long player to be able to pick on in, giving Alu something to work around. So just simple stuff from Ents. But it's working and... Oh, the buy will come through from Na'Vi. We could see the money. There was no problems there. There was no dramas whatsoever. What a simple opted to go for here. Gotta be the AUWP. It has to be something on the ground for him, for sure. He's not he going to be rocking into this grand. one. He might have just dropped an M4 for his teammates, and yeah, it's going to be the AWP. Okay. Boosted Cat. So let's see if he can find an opening. There won't actually be anybody towards top middle for him to find, but potentially towards lower no dark. Boost. No, no one's there. Smoked off Xbox. Won't be able to have a look down tunnels, and that is the in half of the intention of that smoke, as well as, of course, the doors cross. Uh, cat. Here's them. Tries to contain them, but they continue their move, and they are trying to thread the needle here. There is a gap that can be exploited. It's perfecto. So much attention from the defense. And now Alu. Left eyes the whole way, just straight into Simple. That's the advantage Simple needed. Ariel in a prime position, but he's been smoked off. He's screwed. Absolutely, but B-Site open for business. I think he's quick. He's pushing this, and I understand the want and the need, but gets caught in the end, oh. and El Simple playing a very precarious game. Keep in mind, Electronics nowhere near this. He's having nothing to do with it, and Simple is right there. I think he's been warned, warned of the ramifications of his actions if he was to stick around in that smoke. I think he just hoped someone would be trying to lurk through it. Tony might have him here. Tony's seen him. Oh dear, he's gonna get hunted down. Yeah, needs to kill. Oh, now low. Multiple targets, simple. Not gonna get to keep hold of his weapon. This could have huge echoes into the next round. Nobody preserving anything. Electronic still could have a recovery mission. He's gonna be tested by Sonny oh. and eliminated. So that's gonna put them on peanuts here. 2.6 for Perfecto. 3.7, 3 for Simple. There is a 6.7 player, so there is room for some heroics, but yeah, timeout called. This time it's actually called by Ents, interestingly enough. Think about Simple hanging around with the Org at the A site in the earlier round when they couldn't retake and then going down with the bomb. But he's lost an Org and armor. It's a lot of money. Now with the AWP getting stuck in no man's land, going to make a play towards B. I understand why he was there because if they pushed him, he found a window, maybe he could you know, get a couple of crazy sure. Simple no-scopes and steal them away around. But the ramifications of not being able to save both guns in back-to-back -back has meant that he only has 3k left in the bank balance, which is not enough to buy with. So what, what was looking good, right? It was looking good for, for Na'Vi, could quickly be taken away. Because 13 on the board for Ents now, the money situation is in their favor. Na'Vi are going to need to look for a miracle round. And they lost everything. Everybody went down on the side of Na'Vi right there. They're going to force on in, so Simple will be dropped in AWP. Lucky his teammates have a lot of faith Flamey in the man. Please drop <laughs> He was up on 10k. We weren't joking, but yeah. <laughs> He's being delivered this, so he needs to find kills, right? They're feeding him this weapon. It's the best gun right now on their side of things. Simple has to find frags. Oh, that control. I thought it was curtains oh. for Ariel. And quite the opposite. He draws him close for Boomich and Electronic. And there's the investment on short. The golden gun in this round for the Na'Vi side. Keep in mind, Perfecto's only on a deagle at the moment. So they literally have so... Little to play with an Alu pouncing towards Flamey in those double doors. And Simple, feeling like a lifetime away from being able to hinder much here, but it is still Simple, but this one, looking anything but. He has, he has to save this one. Yeah. He, he has to save this one, but he might not get a chance. Sergei's already on the hunt. I don't think Perfecto's ready for this one. Looking in the right direction. The Famous at range, not good enough. Simple now has to deal with five members. The bomb isn't down. This would have to be a miracle round. And he's not even getting a chance to find a frag with it. So that is money once again down the drain. Na'Vi following quickly with it. 2.5 on the majority of the members. Their choice is save this one, buy next, but give up 15. That's not a choice that anybody wants to make. But I feel it's the only logical... It's the only logical play. And the reason yeah. it's the only logical play is because if they force here and they lose, next round's only 2,900. 2,900, once again, not enough to buy. So it's just a partial limp in. Oh, oh, oh. It's run away from Na'Vi today. It has, but right at the end again. And this time, Jampy just takes down Electronic. No heroics on the P250s or Deagles from him. Sonny has that bomb. There's a 
universe where he loses that to a crazy one dig and they can defend it from T-spawn. Three of them? Yeah, Something. certainly. Oh, I don't like having the bomb here. They can jiggle. They can hit their shots. Fortunately, Sergei is there to try and save the day. And with that frag, he has relieved a lot of pressure. They can calm down again. The tunnel's aggression returns for Na'Vi in the form of simple. They connect oh. his shot. All that to get the bomb back into hand. So much danger, so much threat. And now the pushback up from Boomich as well. So, oh. <laughs> this looks like 15. Simple with a monumental task to do even damage at this point. If you get that away from Alu, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be a dream come true. But I'm going to be probably crossing towards A. Still have smoke, still have everything. Simple, dead, done. It's 15 to 12. Na'Vi, how, how long did they went on a streak, didn't they? It was what, three? Four rounds towards the tail end of the first Five half. Five rounds in now. a row. And now we're looking uh, four in a row. Five on this yes. half. Okay, so yeah, all right. They've uh, really run out of steam here, and it's just M4s. Flamey's not going to be dropping simple and op this time round. It wouldn't make any sense financially. No defuse kit, utility to work with, but now it just comes up to winning your fights. Over towards the tunnels, three members from Ents. Towards top and mid will be Ariel, patrolling the big man. Alu, another fantastic performance from him. Every time we tune on in to an Ents game so far in the Pro League, he has been laying down the law with that AWP, rocking it old school. All right, Na'Vi, final chance. Aid's going to short, just clearing as you go. We have seen simple patrolling around there. A couple of other players, that double stack on the CZs. So why not try and create some free space, but... Now that he's still lingering around mid, those double doors still patrolled slightly by simple. He is on the other side, kind of slinking back towards CT, closer towards electronic, where potentially this looks like it's where it's going to end if they continue this way. They can just go through the paces here. There's no aggression on the CT side. There's no moves that are really possible. That smoke landing on catwalk will buy them roughly until 30 seconds, but there's no pressure applied to Ents. They don't have to worry about any fights until Flamey steps out mid and gets an opening. Flamey? Yeah, it's a Flamey. very powerful spot, but still a chance if Sunny and Sergey continue to hit the shots they have been and now equalized. Through tunnel is a safer route. Double molly to buy time. Simple will not be there on the contact with Perfecto, and that's thanks to the utility usage. That's an opening site. Ten Simple seconds. to contest. They have time to plant, and Ali's in the prime position to just stop any investigations. Bomb down, Boomage, to avoid a 2-0 loss. Two ends here. And unfortunately for him, Sonny's in such a good spot. He'll swing as soon as Alu calls the ball. That should be the shot in the booty. And that's 16. Ents, a 2-0. They've taken down Na'Vi. Two wins so far for Ents as well. They have come out of the player break.